It's Friday, April 5th, and this is a groundbreaking edition of the mayor's office. We just had an earthquake in New York. What? A full-blown earthquake. You're kidding me. And I'm in love. Coming in hot, Chichi. What's going on, brother? Dude, seriously. Seriously? I was walking down the stairs to do this. I Look, I'm shaking. We just had an earthquake in New York. What? A full-blown earthquake. You're kidding me. I, Sean, Jess is upstairs screaming on a phone. She was on a phone with her mother in Brooklyn. Her mother felt it. Her boss in Connecticut felt it. I just read right now. Here, I'm, I'm on the internet. I'm, I'm doing this in real time to you, Sean. No joke. Okay. Uh, let's see. Brian Hawk, Yankees. Juan Soto's about to experience his Bronx State Bruin and pinstripes. And there's an earthquake at Yankee Stadium right now. Can't be a coincidence. Jessica Chastain, the actress. Yeah. Did we just have an earthquake, New York? Dude, it's ever. It's this is unbelievable. I, you haven't. I haven't. Wait, did you did you feel it coming down the steps? No, me. I was going, I was at my front, like my front living room. You know, we have all those like tchotchkes up on the. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, first I, I heard, I saw my neighbor had like this uh, truck outside. They're getting, they got a roofer. Right. About to do something in a roof. So suddenly I just feel this like little, quick little rattling. And I'm like, oh, what's he doing out there? And then all of a sudden, everything, the entire house was shaking. Come on, dude. Uh, dude, I, Case, I swear to God, this is going to be on, turn on the news. It's probably already on the news. Wow. Video, oh, my God. Everybody's blowing up. But so Jess was upstairs. I was just coming back in. Everything's shaking. Now I'm thinking, like, okay, is our house exploding? Is my <laughs> And then, thank God, I, I opened my front door. Every single person in the neighborhood was just staring out their front door, and we all, like, walked out. It was like a freaking... Uh, sci-fi movie apocalypse standing in the street right when it ended and the, the sweet lady across the street from me she's like what the hell was that and i go i think it was an earthquake and everybody's like it was like holy crap dude it was unbelievable wow dude wow i've never so I've, how many earthquakes hit new york do they never there was like that one that one time remember those guys from mlb.com were recording when it happened it was a pretty funny video back in the day there was like a tremor that was like right 15 years ago dude i apologize to people in california who have this happened to them a lot i guess but right. when you're not used to this dude my heart is beating through the roof right now wow that's incredible dude i told you this was i'm sure it's going to be the big news well i'm sure the yankees play at 105 maybe is it going to be de delayed i no i don't i mean i, I hope you wonder not. if there's any damage unless there's no damage where you are but you wonder if there's wherever it hit is there any damage <laughs> I, it's it's a great question it's a great question <laughs> this guy wrote oh, this guy uh one of the barstool goes barstool guys just wrote also before you west coast bleep holes start with your patronizing tweets about how you're so used to earthquakes zip it we feel the same way when you cry about a half inch of snow <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm i'm sorry i am sure i'm literally shook I was shaken by an earthquake, and I am shook right now. This happened like literally four minutes. Wow, that's wow, what that's incredible. Oh my god! I'm oh. sure. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's on. Uh, it's ever. It's going to be news already. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be. Anyway, all right. Whew. All right. Well, let's do the show. Make sure there's no damage in my house. My freaking baseboards. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Jeez. I'm. Um, see. I'm. I'm. I just went to CNN. Doesn't have it yet, but I'm sure they will soon. Oh, uh, I mean, everybody in New York, like everybody's posting here. Let's see who else. Wow. That's incredible. A lot of memes. Oh, did we just have our first earthquake? First time experiencing earthquake. Uh. I thought I left this all behind in LA. Somebody's writing. Somebody wrote, sorry, this earthquake was entirely my fault. Everybody's a jokester, huh? On the internet. 
Some guy named Uncle, Uncle Dub just wrote, yo, that earthquake just woke me up. Somebody said they felt it in Pennsylvania. Wow. Phew. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, to, to move sideways from our show. No, you're shaking, dude. You're shaking. Your nerves are shaking. Your nerves are shaking. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, let's segue. Let's segue. Who, uh, here's an earthquake. Earthquake hit New York yesterday when Pete Alonso tied it up in the ninth right. to get the Mets their first. N- <laughs> How about that? That's get their a- Mets their first W. Yeah, dude. Yesterday. Um, Dude, let me ask this real quick. So up until that point, dude. I watched both games. Obviously, I have a much more vesting interest. My wife works there now. I'm like, I watched yeah. both games. The first game ended miserably. They didn't hit for the last. Dude, it, I think they were 13 innings in a row without a hit. But in the same day, dude, it's in the same day, in yeah, the same yeah. ballpark. It. I don't know if you can say must win game, but being down one nothing in that game, Everybody, everybody started tweeting about Carlos Mendoza. Why do we hire? Like the sky was falling, and then oh. they fell today. But they needed that win, and they got it. They really needed to win that game. I know you say you don't need dude. to win the game, but in New York, oh, yeah, they do. They need it, dude. In New York, you have to win. In that first game, they lost in extra innings. You know, that was a killer. But they had to. I mean, I, even. Uh, you know, I'm sure for Carlos Mendoza, man, it, what a crazy first week this is to be the manager of the Mets. I mean, rained out a bunch. You, you know, you had the whole Jeff McNeil thing right away with Reese Hoskins. That kind of, you know, that's one of your first things as the, ma- as the manager. And then you, you, you're you 0-5 and, and, and lost the first half a doubleheader, and you have one hit, I think, going into the ninth. And Alonzo golfs a ball. Basically, the ball is about an inch off the ground. He stays through it, and he, that's how strong he is. Basically, it was like anyone else, that's a fly ball, you're out. He ends up homering to tie it, and they win it with a walk-off. Incredible. The, the only one I've ever seen be able to hit a ball that far at, at that part of the plate was what, Vlad Guerrero Sr.? Like, not yeah. like maybe Mike Trout every once in a while goes down and gets one, but how, how, especially as a righty, you never see a righty really go down and get the ball. Like, what kind of mechanics do you have to have? That's to tough to do, man. Pitch? Well, I think the biggest thing you're trying to do is when a ball's low like that and you, you've already committed to it, you're trying to – you're literally, you know, like George Brett used to say, short to it, long through it. If you could get, get to it, and if it's a little out front like it was with Alonzo, do you see how he just kind of kept fighting the path? He kept fighting the bat path, trying to stay up through the ball. And sometimes you do that if you don't have your legs behind you, but you're a strong guy like Pete – you can get it out of the ballpark. It's an incredible piece of hitting, dude. I mean, for any fan to go back and look at that, find that video where he's just staying through and, 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 and he ends up hitting it out of the ballpark. It's an incredible piece of hitting, man. Yeah, his bat plane, really, his finish was how you would finish a golf swing. Yeah. It was because it had to be it had to be back up here. It wasn't his normal swing. It was, he and, was so – yeah, he was so low. But, dude, Chinch, when I look at these – when I look at the numbers of some of the guys at the top of the order – Nimmo is hitting .048. That means I think he has one hit. Lindor's hitting .042. Mm, in big spots, uh, too. Yeah, I would say, obviously, that's we're only six games in, but when you're talking about being one and five and you look at the top two guys in your lineup, that's probably a big reason why. Oh, it's got a lot to do with it. Why? I mean, you know, you go through, again, every team probably goes through a five-game losing streak. Yes. Every team, like at least. Oh. At least, no doubt. Um. It just stinks to have it happen at the beginning of your season. And it, like you said, in a way they did it because the controversy and then the rain outs and then, ugh, yeah. and then ugh, that doubleheader, there's 600 people there in the beginning of that game for the first one, because you get rained out twice. It's pretty hard to move your family's day around three times. It's nobody's fault. It's, just, it, it, it's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, flip Dude, side, also, oh. I want to, I want to talk, touch on the buckos too. How about the, you would think the Yankees are six and one. You're like, man, they're powerhouse. Yeah. The Buccos are six and one. Yep. And they've been doing it with pitching, dude. That Araldis Chapman's been great. Chapman and Bednar at the back end right there, eight, nine. And their rotation, this Jared Jones is starting today for uh, opening day for the Pirates. This guy's got some great stuff. Fans are excited. First pitch at four one two. Four twelve. You know, that's the that's the that's the area code for, for Pittsburgh. Oh, is that why they do it? Yeah. So the first pitch is at four twelve. That's cool. Is it still <laughs> rainy there? I uh, did. Kid me. It's, you know what? 
it's not raining right now, but it rained all morning. Just stopped. It's just going to be an overcast day today. Uh, cold. It's going to be cold and chilly. Oh, these East Coast games, man. You could see the guys yesterday too freezing their. Oh, when I see a guy off. break, it's when I see a guy break his bat in like a day game. Yeah, Northeast oh. right now. That's got to be devastating. The pain. The pain. Yeah, um, but what is it? so the Bucks are doing it with pitching, but dude, they got a solid squad. Like, are you are you pleasantly surprised, very surprised, or do you think you saw some glimpses that this could happen this year for them? I think I'm pleasantly surprised more than anything. I, I listen, their manager Derek Shelton's a good buddy of mine, so I, I'm always rooting for Shelty, you know, to uh, to do well. But, you know, you look at the, you know, O'Neal Cruz is back, you know, after being injured last season, leading off, doing pretty well. Brian Reynolds is swinging the bat well. Brian Hayes has come out hot. You know, um, Connor Joe has been ripping it. Rowdy Telez has had some big hits for them. It was kind of an under-the-radar sign for them. Mm-hmm. He's had a couple big, you know, had three-run bomb a couple days ago. Um, Michael Taylor, man, has been doing great uh, playing center field there. They pushed Reynolds to right, uh, Taylor in center. So, Ben Charrington did a great. Ben Charrington, the GM, did a great job of kind of putting this club together. Um, but I like, like you said, you win with pitching. Jared Jones, the, who's one of their top prospects, getting called up, making the team out of out of spring training. Man, this kid's got electric stuff. You know, d- triple digit heater, um, and just really good stuff. So, I think the big question is, it's like it's like Jackson Holiday going down. You're like, oh man, and I think the Orioles can afford that. But dude. Paul Skeens, yeah, he's only reason he's down there is because they want his clock to start a little later. And nowadays, with the way it works, I think he's got to be down there probably at least two months. Mm. So you're like, oh man, these games matter, and you know you got a guy like Skeens that you know you know he's ready to go. I think. Yeah, I mean, they always they pull that he needs more time in the minors, or or he's need less money. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> if, I, I can give it a little bit more of a pass with pitchers because. I also hate when you bring up the, the pitcher, but he's going to be on a, an innings count for the season. And then you got in the back of your head, like, uh, he's not even going to be in the postseason, is he? They're going to shut him down too soon. So I almost feel a little more okay with, I mean, not for him. It's not fair to the guys. To, to, like, the service time thing bothers me, of course. It bothers everybody. Right. I feel like a pitcher, all right, fine. Then if you're going to bring him up in two months, you better bring him up for the rest of the year and don't worry about the playoffs and, and be ready that way. At least do that right. way. I, I, would, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, flip side here in the boom in Bronx, man. I, I'm still shaking. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> no, like, concentration level is, is not. Oh, I'm sure, dude. You just had an earthquake hit you. Kid me. <laughs> um, Incredible. Yeah, and so did the entire Yankees organization. And by the way, this is a funny thing. They're they got they're all there because it's home opener. So ceremonies start at like noonish. Yeah, it's a 105 game. Yeah, so they're sitting in a clubhouse. You've been in the clubhouse. They're sitting in a clubhouse. Yeah. Earthquake happened this week. Yeah. <laughs> um, but pretty big home opener, dude. This is the most anticipated home opener for the Yankees, I would say. Honestly, since like, shoot, I don't even know the banner after the 2009 World Series, but even bigger than that, they're playing well, what, and they got these stars, you know? Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. Why, why do you, why, why do you feel that way as a Yankee fan? I mean, the, it's, it's really because you're trying to tell Juan Soto stay here. This is your, <laughs> yeah. I'm a, that's fans are going to be doing that. Like his ovation. And then I thought about it. Remember what about, he's got to do a roll call first. Roll oh call. yeah. The other big bonus I thought of today, he's in right field, dude. He's w- or with the bleacher creatures yeah. in that stadium. They are going to be just loving him all year long and trying to get him to stay there. I really think the fans are doing that. Dude, I, I tell you what, one thing about being there and being there for all those home games is like that roll call, first off, is so cool and so special. And uh, and those the bleacher creatures, man, those guys are incredible out there. You know, that's the way that the, the, their, their passion for the game is, is so real. And you're right, man. Yankee Stadium is going to be rocking today. I forgot about that. Like, yeah, you're trying to get Soto to stay. They're yeah. gonna they're gonna love him so much all year long. It's incredible, and also too, Marcus Stroman, dude, grew up on Long Island. You know what I mean? Has a chance to to pitch for the Yankees in the home opener tonight. I mean, that's really cool for him, dude. That was the, one of their big off season signings, and for him to have a chance to uh, you know pitch in that home opener, being from New York, that's gonna be a cool thing for him. And yeah. and I'm telling you, Judgey's gonna have a big day today, dude. 
Judge is going to have a big day. Like, I just feel it. Like, when, like I said, when he hit that home the other day to right center, I'm like, uh oh, watch out. Like, that's, that's when I feel like he's, uh, you know, about to be on a tear. So, this yeah. should be a fun day playing the Blue Jays, little rivalry there, AL East rivalry. So, it'll, uh, it's going to be an awesome. I'm, I'm fired up. I can't wait to watch the game. I know, me neither. You know, the other thing I'm noticing, they are smiling a lot. They're yeah. all smiling. I mean, of course, you win, you smile. But right. that, one final thing, dude, there's a side shot of Aaron Boone. I, I was going to pull up the tweet. There's a shot from him the other day. He looked real, like, bro, and he's got – he's wearing a new – he's wearing, like, the Tory hat now. He's got his hair hat, you know, military style with the top. And it went a little viral. It was, like, hot dad Aaron Boone. Like now, <laughs> women all over New York are like Aaron Boone's really good looking guy. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a semi viral thing. I think D Rowe mentioned it this morning on the show. Like Booney's always oh, did he really did he really D <laughs> Yeah, Dude, yeah. Booney's always been a good looking guy. He didn't just get hot in two thousand twenty four. You know, know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's funny, dude. He's like the guy. You know, like Obama was like a young president. Boone's like the young. They're all like young, good looking managers now that played ball. So it's, it's not, true. It's not like the Boilermaker guy smoking heaters like back in like the 70s. Your managers could probably still play these days. <laughs> Stephen Vote. Stephen Vote. If if, if Vote want if Vote wanted to get out, voter wanted to get out there and uh, take a rip, you know, win the game in the night. He's like, hey guys, I'm gonna go hit one real quick. Yeah, yeah. I can still do it. Yeah, you got Vote, Boone, Cora, Cash, a lot of young, a lot of young uh Mendoza, a lot of young, long, young, good looking uh, you know, uh they should do uh managers. MLB and managers calendar the way they used to do <laughs> <laughs> the fireman. You know, Boone with no shirt on doing the Blue Jackson bat thing. Like, oh my God, dude, that would be great. Nice. Um, all right. Are you going to the game? You're not going. Yeah, to I'm going. I'm going. I'm heading down. Yeah, I'm going to see uh, uh I'm, no, I'm going to see Jake. Oh, great. I'm going down to Kent State today. Yeah. So I'm 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 uh I'm rolling down there. They're playing Eastern Michigan. That's my big game today. One o'clock. I'll be I'll have the Yankees on my phone. And and all the other teams and the you know I'm looking forward to that, but I'll be watching Kent State in person. Nice, <laughs> nice. You've been a good luck charm with when you've been going there. I know, so dude. I know. Going. Exactly. Hopefully today, maybe, a, maybe yeah. a you know Ding Dong Donkey Kong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. That's Burnsy. Ding Dong. Was that Eric Burns? Ding Dong Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. All right, I, I have I have to go find out if uh the flower the trees are still standing. In yeah, dude. Go, yeah, go find out what's going. I'm I, you're, you're rattled because you 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 were walking down the stairs to do the podcast. The stairs were shaking. You were holding on for dear life. And then you jumped down with me. I'm like, you know, I'd have been like, dude, I can't do the podcast today. Freaking house is shaking. You know, <laughs> that's, that's how committed I am to you fans. That's how committed this. <laughs> Rain shine. We're like mailman. We always deliver. Yeah. I love it, dude. All cool. right, Chichi, go, go, go make sure everything's okay and Jess is good and everything like that. And uh, have a great weekend, dude. I'll see you Monday. Looking forward to it. And uh, everyone out there, thanks for listening. We love you guys. And uh, we'll see you Monday. And don't forget, we're getting out the, the 72 Yankee jersey. Let's go. 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. Let's keep pushing that envelope. Subscribe, download. Getting ready to give, that, give away that jersey. All right, see you, buddy. Love you.